Hey, 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 my dear friends. Uh, how are you doing? I hope you people are doing great. So welcome to the lecture number two. And I hope you people had a nice weekend. Uh, uh, and if you people have been through the, my last and first lecture, uh, then I hope you will be ready for the second lecture, okay? So, in the second lecture, I am uh, for a light and a very basic topic, that is surface bed network. There are two types of networks, and the surface bed network, one is the server client network, and another is the peer-to-peer -peer network, okay? Got the server client network. Uh, in this kind of network, the device is, is totally dependent on the server. No direct connectivity might be the server in the United States, and you are trying uh, you are trying to work from uh, South Africa, from somewhere else. Uh, and uh, the other thing about the server and client system is that the management of the computer network is centralized. The database is centralized. All the stuff in going on on the network, the server will be responsible for it. So that is the big, uh, very big application of the server. And another type of the network is peer-to-peer -peer network. In such kind of network, the devices are directly connected, no centralized management, and everyone is responsible for their own password, for their own user, user management, and uh, no centralized stuff here. If I give you a very basic example, so uh, at the moment I'm uh, running a, a server on my computer and 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 we mirror machine. Uh, this is a server based network. Okay. Let's say server based network. Uh, in this case, my server. See how ago I was working on. Uh, and my server, let's go there, it's already on. Uh, in such kind of network, uh, different devices are connected to my server, and uh, this server is responsible to authenticate, to provide resources to who, who, and when. Point to be now, okay? So this is another client computer that is joined to this server, uh, and this uh, window L machine, I told you that, uh, that the client machine and, uh, and client, the server client machine, client is very dependent on the server. Okay, let's have an example. Uh, I'm trying to change the IP of this computer. Let's try to do. Oh uh, no, I, I need to have a password of the server. I need to be the administrator of the server. I, need, I don't have the authority to do it from the client. Because this is server client machine, you can't do it, man. Oh, that's a small example. I hope you people understand it. Now let's proceed to the second question. Okay, this is the topology, uh, a very simple sketch. Uh, the three servers and the three clients. Uh, the email client will request uh, to the email server, the web browser to the web browser. For example, uh, this is a small office scenario. Email server, web server, and file server on the same server. And uh, four of you are connected, four of my users of CCNI page is connected to this uh, server. And another uh, topology is a peer to peer network. The two computers are directly connected to one another. Uh, it looks very messy, man. Just two computers and nothing so. Nothing so attractive unless you do want to get right. So that's why in, my, in most of the organization, I mean in every organization, uh, you use server client topology and peer to peer network are used very, very rarely. But yep, it is used and we will see uh, in our, 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 our future. That when we will make a topology, we will make a network scenario, then we will do it here, okay? So, uh, you people are very new in CCNA, so I want you to introduce to the devices that we will use uh, uh, to implement our topology a computer network, a computer device, and a laptop printer, and a lot of stuff, wireless device, lens switch, MLS, 
uh, multi-layer switch and uh, firewall, okay? And these are the three types of connectivity, uh, the medium, that is lane way, uh, serial cable, and traceable, traceable cable, yep, traceable. There is another one, a uh, cross through, that is uh, a dotted, uh, represented with a dotted one, okay? Uh, but don't worry, so when we will move forward, we will explore one by one everything, okay? No problem. Uh, these are the three basic type of network, local internet network, LAN, WAN, and MAN. These three are very famous, and I hope you people understand it, but, uh, but it's okay, I will go through it. This is LAN. For example, in your office, you are setting and a few other computers are connected to the uh, central switch and uh, your IP phone might be, your camera might be, your server might be, that is a server, right? Your server might be, your something might be tablet. Yep, wireless. <laughs> okay guys, this is the wired internet network. The routers, the routers game is started here. And Two lanes are connected, so you might be defined as a wide area network when you connect it to different lanes. Uh, one is in the United States, another is in the UK, then that is called wide area network. Right. So from here, from this diagram, if you people think, I want you to be creative, I want you to ask questions. Uh, if you people question me, uh, I will try to search an answer for you. If I don't know the answer, it's not a big deal. I will ask from my seniors, I will discuss with the teachers, I will search in Google, but we will reach to that specific answer. Got it? So if, uh, here I want you to think, if you see this topology, uh, see this device router, that is uh, at the very edge of the topology. Edge. You see people? You people see that this is at the edge. This is at the edge. So the router is called the edge device, and uh, if you see people, if you people see that the switch is in the center, and all the other devices are connected to the edge. So uh, the switch is the backbone of the local area network, and the, for wide area network, the router is very backbone. Here you people see that the router connect different networks and it's not important that uh, it is not important that uh, uh, this next network IP uh, this network IP is similar to this one if it is still it's not a big deal we will discuss it in the list uh, it might be at the system or a single measure but not uh, the different uh, IP addresses are translated for the vein and reach to the destination. So go and get worried, just uh, uh, learn that the connectivity of the different vein together is called wide here network or internet. It might be internet as well. Oh yes, this is internet. In the next slide, it is internet. Different lanes are connected, connected, connected. And, and this is the, this is called internet. You see the router, the router, the router. It is uh, it makes the vertices of the web like uh, you people know that the internet is just like the web. We are connected with each other. So these uh, routers are connected with each other and making a very nice network. This is a very important slide from a uh, from an interview perspective. Uh, if a if a person asks uh, you what is intranet the intranet is your local company network okay and then the company is connected to the vendor to the customers to the um, to another people might be yes, suppliers like in medical company medical reps uh, and another uh, you use doctors kind of stuff so they are very interconnected with each other and then these doctors are connected to some other city doctor, and that city doctor is connected uh, towards some big uh, country doctors, uh, another country. So that will make the internet 
but they, for example, oh, that we, we have a very simple example. The tech you and your university, there is your department. The intranet is your department. Internet and the extranet is the, the different department in your university. Is they are they have their online network and they are connected to you to your department. And your university is connected to another university, a lot of many thousand universities. That is the internet. I hope you still got it. So different type of connectivity, uh, we can connect. We can connect to our I internet service provider uh, shortly. ISP. Uh, your ISP is uh, a company that provides you internet. I hope that is a simple explanation. Uh, that might be through a DSL cable, that might be through a copper cable, that might be through a cylinder, it might be satellite or telephone line. Uh, a network engineer deals with the device circuit router. This is a slide from the previous lecture, and but we have to keep in mind that what is our job. And one important thing here is a little bit out of the topic. Uh, but uh, I like to discuss with you people that you people must be multi-talented, you people must help the girls to do a lot of stuff. So for example, what do I mean by that? For example, you must be smart in a very simple way. You people know how to boot your CD, you people know how to burn CD, you people know how to fix small issues and uh, different uh, uh, window system might be, might be in a flash, might be in your computer, in a phone. Uh, this is the this is this is what means the tech guy. Uh, my, my friend asked me to boot a USB for him. I got this. Uh, hold on for a second so that I can copy this there because during the process the data will be totally erased from this USB. Okay, hold on for a second. Uh, if you have anything in your USB, better you or uh, you copy it or uh, it will be lost. Uh, I have few lectures here uh, regarding to uh, scan the web around you, scan the Wi-Fi around you. So let's proceed and see that these data will be automatically erased if you don't copy it. I already copied it. So I proceed and open cell power iso. I open power eyes now from here. Okay. And then I put the USB. I want you to, I want all of you to be a multi-talented so I don't have to ask you to do something that's very simple. You must be clear to do it. Okay? So let's proceed with the, with the opening up the USB with the window 10. You want me to do window 10 for him. Okay. I think I should stop the power. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. The computers are running on my own administrator. Wait for a second and then you are getting your own adjustment. So, click on the tools and create a bootable USB drive. Okay, uh, that, that is actually my USB. Uh, I have to select. I have for an ISO image for the Windows 10. Uh, I got a lot, a lot of stuff here. Thank you. 
Yes, this time we will we will click on start. Okay. Fine. Click start. Here, here the power to ask you that all the data will be overwritten and erased. Are we ready? Yeah. So if you wanna go to USB, better you copy all the data. Something is wrong with my USB. It's just denied it did a lot of stuff. Going on in my USB, I will do some sighting using the using CMD. So let's continue with our uh, with our topic. Yeah, for you to do a lot of stuff, you need find the white with actually other windows. Okay. So our next like uh, top slide is super demo about how to make a network. This is very very interesting. Better you be to go and download. Oh, sorry, I don't have internet at the moment. So better you people go and download packet tracker. Uh, yeah, our genus three, both are uh, simulation devices. You can make a network in this device. Let's take a start. Uh, I got a packet tracker seven, the latest one. Uh, and let's see if you do that. You mad me. <laughs> Hold on for a second. Uh, we continue with our own topic first. You know, uh, in your practical life, you will face a lot of issues. Even sometimes, in, uh, in I was very new, I got some issues. I even heard the name of that issue, and I got uh, I got spit on my face. So, uh, but then I find the solution. Yeah. Okay. So I clicked on the packet tracer and that's in front of me. So here are devices, network devices. Uh, a little click on this one, network devices, and then routers, switches, hub, Wi Fi devices, firewall, and plus. Okay, first I will take you to the router. There are the different models of the router. You know, there are a lot of models in the router. Some uh, routers are used uh, in, in a very low low traffic area some are um, some are used to transfer the whole country data to the another country man this is a very big issue so there are two different to another two general uh, routers generic one generic two uh, generic pg if you see people here generic uh, router pg and uh, router pg mp so better you people uh, select with the router PC because it has some enterprises uh, while the empty one don't have any module. You have to install the module in it and it will be the time. Uh, same for the switches, uh, generic switch, switch PG 2960, 2950, yep, here we got 2950, 24 ports. If you have a lot of computers, better you click it here. If you have few computers, then better you can go with this one. Uh, and here are the cables, the connectivity, the okay? uh, this is automatic connection to, hold on for a second, automatic, you people see the, the writing, automatic switch connection, if you don't know what, which cable could you use, you will go to the next one, this is control cable used to connect computer to the router or computer to the switch, okay, this is straight, uh, straight through cable and this is cross. I, I told you the cross one, a dotted one, uh, leeward this one until this one. CLDCE, 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 okay? So, first, first of all, which connection should be used uh, between switch and router? Uh, I have in devices from here. Okay, this is computer, laptop, and another given generic cell phone, uh, printer, IP phone, voice phone, a lot of other stuff. These are my uh, connecting the computer. Okay, now we come to the connection. Uh, automatic connection, if I don't know which connection should I use, 
and I will use this one. But here I know that the uh, the, the the wire between the router and stick A is the strange one. So better I click on this cable and then I left click on this one, select the full fast ethernet. The fast ethernet should be used between switch and router. And then left click on this one and I connect S to F fast ethernet zero by one. Cool, the shortest F A zero by one, the shortest F A zero by zero. Fine. If I don't know the which uh, which cable should be used between the router and the switch, and I will click this other one. Left click on it, left click on the uh, router. It will check automatically connectivity, and left click on the switch. You will see the SMS straight straight. As you people know. Uh, there is two, there is one basic rule. The different devices use the straight one and the similar devices use cross one. For example, if you connect this, uh, these two uh, switches together, these are similar devices, so automatically it will use the cross one. Okay. For example, let me try. Let me try automatic one. It will use cross one. Okay. Hold on, I, I, I move forward and connect this click to the computer. Now, how I will assign I to the computer, uh, I will click on it, left click on it, and I will come to the desktop in the IP configuration. Here, I will enter IP statically. For example, I will enter IP statically. And then subject mask, automatically the subject mask, then get link, and then daily server, a lot of stuff. So, uh, this video is just about how to connect these devices and which cable should be used. And the next lecture, we will uh, go through uh, OSI layers, and I will configure a small uh, topology to play with. So you people will feel a little bit amusement in the next lecture. I hope you people enjoyed this lecture and be ready for the next lecture. Have a good day.